Hello, my name is Lily Wynn. And my name is Ashkin Afshari. And on behalf of Drs. Varun Gupta, Jim Grodin, Bruce Schacht, and Kai Higdon from the Department of Plastic Surgery at Vanderbilt and the University of Alabama, we are pleased to discuss our article titled Preoperative Risk Factors and Complication Rates of Thyroplasty, Analysis of 1,493 Patients, which is set to be published in the upcoming September issue of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. According to the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, approximately 17,000 thyroplasties were performed in the United States in 2015. This represents a 485% increase since 1997. Despite this, there is a positive data for risk factors in the complication rates of thyroplasty. Current studies have been limited by small sample size, single institution or practice experience, and no distinction between major and minor complications. In our study, we used a large, prospectively gathered insurance database to assess major complication rates in thyplasty and identify risk factors for developing them. Major complications were defined as complications that required emergency room visit, hospital admission, or reoperation within 30 days. Among 183,914 cosmetic surgical procedures, 1,493 thyplasties were performed. The incidence of major complications was 6.6%, with the most common complication being infection at 2.7%, followed by hematoma at 2.1%. Complication rates were greatest for thyplasties performed in hospitals, followed by ambulatory surgery centers, and least in office-based surgical suites, though this may have been driven by patient selection. On multivariate analysis, when thyplasty was performed as a single procedure, smoking was an independent risk factor for overall complications and hematoma formation. While many plastic surgeons screen for smoking in patients undergoing cosmetic surgery, it is important to be extremely cautious in offering smokers a thyplasty procedure as major complications significantly increase in this patient population. Future studies should aim to identify risk factors and complication rates for minor complications such as seroma formation or minor T-point dehiscence as these represent a majority of complications associated with thyroplasty. With this information, we can counsel our patients and optimize modifiable risk factors to decrease patient complications. Thank you very much. Thank you.